Guys, this actually has to do with the Middle East and the Israelis and the Palestinians, the ongoing conflict and occupation there, and Ben and Jerry's recent stance on it. Why are you paying attention to ice cream? That was the question many are asking Oklahoma U.S. Senator James Langford. Ben and Jerry's ice cream out of Vermont, they announced that they're going to start a boycott of Israel in sections of Israel to be pro-Palestinian. He is referring to this. The company recently said, quote, we believe it is inconsistent with our values for Ben and Jerry's ice cream to be sold in the occupied Palestinian territory. But it's literally this company taking a stand saying we're anti-Israeli, that we're pro-Palestinian in this. Which Langford says is the company's right, but he points to a new Oklahoma law just signed last year. We spoke to a local law professor to help explain. While those passed uh, uh, in 2020 uh, and signed by the governor that states that if you have companies that boycott Israel, uh, the state will not do business with them. Saying the law only applies to state business and you'll likely still see the ice cream sold in your supermarket. I don't think there's going to be any chance at all uh, that uh, uh, that we're going to see uh, Ben and Jerry's leave the store. But what about places that are state operated? Well, Oklahoma should look and see if we have any contracts with Gen Ben and Jerry's ice cream at any of our state parks or anywhere else. If we have a contract with Ben and Jerry's in these locations, we should follow our own state law and to be able to block that Ben and Jerry's from being sold in our state facilities. Now, interesting. Now, I reached out to Governor Stitt's office on this. Is he going to check state parks and other state facilities to see if they carry that ice cream and maybe block it? I did not hear back from his office in time for air, but I'll keep you posted if I learn anything. Guys.